Uh, Jason Willis joining us now, a local author. And uh, Jason, um, you've said about yourself that um, you are a storyteller, not a historian. That said, I do have oodles of fun tidbits. So can you can you unpack what that means? I think that's just a funny statement. Oh, I mean, yeah, you know, so I, I love to go down the rabbit holes of history. And mm -hmm. so when I'm working on my books, you know, I, I spend so much time just looking around to see what's there. Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately, you know, I'm trying to tell that Indiana Jones, National Treasure, mm -hmm. Da Vinci Code kind of story. So I don't feel bound to it, you know, so I'll ignore some things and go in yeah. different directions. But I'm always starting with just trying to uncover that, like, kind of, in this case, local history. And so, uh, you know, when you hear uh, of uh, tall tales, you think of, you know, Paul Bunyan. Um, but we kind of have our own Paul Bunyan that... Is, is kind of not really, really spoken about or not really well known. So um, who exactly was Lesueur? Well, I mean, I long, like long before question. there were rubber ducks going down the, uh, yeah. the river, mm -hmm. um, Lesueur was this um, kind of this alpha male, male kind of jack of all trades kind of character. He started off as a uh, linguist. He was a translator. He became a fur trader. He became a wealthy businessman. Um, he got abducted by pirates, uh, and then he ultimately became known here in Minnesota for being kind of an explorer. So, mm. you know, he came to Minnesota, uh, and that's where we kind of remember him. But when I went down that rabbit hole, it was so interesting just to see all these different facets of this guy. Yeah, mm. and I think that's always kind of in the back of everyone's mind when they go into a town. And, you know, why is this town named this, you know? So the fact that you actually dug into that is, is really nice for other people that maybe didn't want to go that, that deep. Well, you but know, we I'm, just saying, I'm a curious guy, yeah, and so th those great. sort of things just bother me. It's like, why is yeah. it called Blue Earth County? Let's and figure it this turns out, out it, it had connections to Lesueur. Uh -huh. And so that's what kind of led me into that historical search. And yes. so how do you, um, how do you, uh, you know, decide um, what historical what historical things that you look at yeah and how do you follow do you follow them like word by word or how does that how does well, that work well as I mind? said my style of book is a little liberating so I don't have to worry about you know keeping it super super historical mm -hmm. accurate but when I'm, I'm gathering up information like you know compared to my earlier book about Joseph Nicolette there were mm -hmm. biographies mm -hmm. about him you know I had all this stuff to work with uh, Lesueur is really hard because like a little article here a little sure. article there uh, and then it kind of just spider web. So mm. I, would, I would read the ones primarily about him, and then they would mention somebody. And then I'd be like, I'd look at their history, and then I'd look at their history. Mm -hmm. And so the next thing I know is the story suddenly turned like, you know, continental. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like I was looking at stuff in Montreal history. I was looking up stuff in Louisiana history. And so I was finding things all over the place mm -hmm. about him that I didn't realize just coming from the Minnesota perspective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's so many, like, I feel like he's, uh, he, he is you know, so well known in this area, but he was already like an enigmatic figure before he even got here, I guess is what I'm hearing. Yeah, and, and 150 years after he was in Minnesota, Joseph Nicolet um, mm -hmm. came from France because he was still curious about who was this guy, why was he here, and what was he doing? So those kind of mysteries kind of drew me in just like they mm. drew in Joseph Nicolet. So my earlier book led me into this book uh, just because it, it was curious, and enigmatic is a good way to mm -hmm. say it because there's so many mysteries surrounding him, um, mm -hmm. there were other like adventure seekers trying to figure out where the Lesueur copper mine was mm -hmm. and nobody could figure it out. And so it's like, is it a tall tale or was it uh. true? Yeah. Yeah. So, so that sort of stuff. And that just led to other weird little anomalies about him that it's like, okay, was that real or was that made up? Are they mm -hmm. pulling our leg or was it historical fact? And, yeah. and so you didn't know after a while. And so that's why, yeah, I wrote the kid's book after I got done with it just to show it's like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> some of this stuff, you know, um, you <laughs> really yeah, boil yeah, it yeah, down. It, I love yeah, that. Yeah, and my nephew picked up on that fact, the fact that yeah. it was like a little like, wow, this does sound like Paul Bunyan. Yeah. Uh, and and my, my favorite tidbit about him, and this was after the fact I found this, is there was a Louisiana historian mm -hmm. that recorded how, you know, our story for Pierre Charles Lesueur is that he was a copper miner and he brought down barges loaded with copper. Yeah, and but, I'm so sorry that I have to I have oh, to interrupt are we out you. Out of time? We're yeah. out of time. Oh, but, sorry. Um, Love to have you back. There is um, there County is an event Society. tomorrow yes. <laughs> if you're you're looking to hear more. And um, so thank you so much Absolutely. for joining us and giving us a little bit of insight as no well. No problem. Um, we will wrap things up when we come back. Stay with us.